Me. Hey, it's Peter, and welcome to my channel. I'm here with my cousin Ashley. Ah. Yes, no once pain. again, <laughs> once again, yes. Have you seen her? Have you yes. seen her? <laughs> you have seen her. I mean, if you haven't seen, we did another car mukbang video uh, at the Walmart parking lot. So check it out. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> go check it out. Yeah, see. now we're on a different parking lot. Mom. Yes, we're a different, different place. Neighborhood. We look different too. Cause I remember in the video I had blonde hair and you had black, and now oh, it's different. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now you have brighter hair and I have all dark. Yeah, I look was what was it copper, like a dark cop a, a dark copper. Yes. And yeah. we're gonna do a mukbang video. Yes. A this, mug bang. yes. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is like a fries. <laughs> this is <laughs> hashtag Bros and Fries. Yes. This is what we got. Uh, like episode two in our season or something. Yeah, like mm -hmm. uh, another last time was video. Sushi. Yeah, last um, time was sushi. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, nice place. I don't remember. But the rolls were good. The rolls were good. I'll tell you that. I'll go back again. <laughs> yes, I went too. Um, but now we went to Bros and Fries, and let's show you. You want to see what we got? Let's see. What okay, we got. Yeah. Probably want some right now. You can see it. No, for <laughs> real. Like your mouth is what's it called? Watery. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I got some Chipotle fries. It's it says chicken and cheese. Okay, I saw that they put guac, but I don't see none. So. Oh my god. Maybe it's like underneath. Under, yeah. yeah, maybe it's underneath. But we'll see. And what'd you get? And I got a shrimp Cali. Yeah. yeah from California. Yeah. California. Yeah. For real, you already know. She knows the assignment. <laughs> so what are we doing in today's video? We're going to be asking questions, talking. Mm -hmm, like a little bit of everything. <laughs> yes, and we'll be telling you how we feel about the food. Oh, yeah. Like, let me show you a close-up. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, let me take a video. <laughs> Mine's obviously a burrito. A burrito, a nice burrito. I need to take a bite <laughs> to see what's inside. <laughs> For real. Oh, you know what else? Well, that's good. It has shrimp inside. Very good fries. Really? Yeah. What else? It and has cheese. pico de gallo. Oh. Cheese. Wait, I need another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want a bite? Take one. I know you want one. <laughs> Um. <laughs> oh, actually, I have a question to ask y'all. What salsa do y'all prefer? Are y'all like team red or team green salsa? My spicy levels aren't that high, so I like the green one. <laughs> because it's not that like spicy, and it adds flavor. Oh, For me. <laughs> Oh, wait, I was going to say to keep it out. Oh, wait, here you go. Thank you. Um, I feel like green salsa is more refreshing than the red one. If that makes sense, like, it just, it's just more refreshing. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I got guac sauce, but I saw that they don't even make it from aguacate. Oh you know what we should do? Oh my gosh, wait, we should do like a get ready with me, but in Spanish, like just talking in Spanish. Cool. Yeah, I'm would you Spanish watch Spanish followers? Oh my god, carrots. Do y'all like pickled carrots? Like, I love pickled carrots. I was telling my cousin that I was like lucid dreaming. <laughs> oh, yes, tell us. Yeah, like I had like two like recent lucid dreams. One was like a few weeks ago. I was at the store and I remember just walking and out of nowhere like I gained my conscious that I was dreaming. And I had seen like a coworker of mine like in my dream. And I remember like just smiling at her and the moment she like looked away like she wasn't even looking at my direction. 
I like looked down and I was counting her fingers because I have seen this one TikTok where it's all like um, people in your dreams never have like the five fingers. And so like really? I was like looking at her hands and like I, I was counting them and she had like six fingers in one hand. Like I don't know like out of ever since well since I like counted her fingers like the whole vibe just changed. Like I saw her face, she like looked straight at me and like with a mad face, like with a really mad face. And she started kind of like stomping away, kind of like, you know, when like someone walking away like angrily. But she kept just looking back at me, she was like walking away but she was going like that. Mm -hmm. And I had like, I left. Um, I left the store and it kind of like switched so it was kind of like me leaving the store but it like changed to like a school mm -hmm. you know what I mean yeah, yeah yeah the setting changed yeah like the setting changes and like I remember like everyone kind of like was looking at me literally all eyes were on me mm -hmm. and I remember I was walking towards a table and one out of all those girls like she like pulled me to the side and she was all like we're not supposed to be here. <laughs> or, like, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> and I was kind of trying to, like, play it cool and kind of, like, uh, like, what are you talking about, you know? Like, right. really kind of, like, not... Yeah. Know, say something. Like, try to, like, continue. Be back to the PC or... Yeah, because yeah, like, I'm just like, shit, like, you know... I don't know your attention to him. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, and, like, I remember just, like, um, I like started running towards like a car that was outside of the school and I was in the car and some person from my dream like broke the window on my side like it broke the freaking window and I was like what the hell and I like dude my like first reaction was like to grab a glass from mm -hmm. the window mm -hmm. cause it was like big pieces so like I got a I got a piece of glass and I just like sliced him like on the neck and what made it even more weird is that he was bleeding but he was just standing there like no reaction like he wasn't grabbing himself he wasn't like down on the ground like you know like moving he still like he was just there he was just like he stood there for a while and like just bleeding and then he just like walked away and like another one came and I did the same thing and the same thing he was just bleeding but they had literally no reaction. And I was like, what the what fuck? The <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, what? And they like, they left and I got out of the car and like, there was like, um, the street. Mm -hmm. I was like running towards one side of the street and it was, um, I looked to the side and it was kind of like a I'm street. Oh. It looked like a street, mm -hmm. but like the further it, um, you like looked at it, it was like dark, you know, like a very dark street. It kind of looked like it didn't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then I went to the other side of the street and it looked the same way. Like it kind of looked like it went somewhere, but at the same time, like it was all black. So it didn't look like it went anywhere. Right. And like in my head... Like, for some reason, like, it was telling me that there was a way out. Mm -hmm. But it was, like, in the middle of, like, the cafeteria, like, where everyone was. So, I was just, like, dude, like, like, I can't get out. And I don't remember. The only thing I don't remember is how I woke up. Like, I kind of just, like, woke up. <laughs> yeah. And I was just, like, I was, like, what the heck? What just happened? Like, yeah. What really shocked me was, like, the part where I literally cut someone in the freaking throat. And yeah. they were just there, like, like no yeah. freaking reaction. That was, like, is crazy. Yeah, and I'm just, like... Mm. And more people came? No. Or like, like, it was just them, too. Because I had left, and I was kind of just, like, wondering what to do. Yeah. And, but I was, like, already, like, outside of the school. I wasn't inside. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's when I, like, woke up. Like, I was outside of the school when I woke up. So that was the last thing? Mm-hmm. Just me standing outside of the school. She said, we're not supposed to be here. What the heck? Yeah. Like, it I feels weird. If, like, it feels real, deal. 
Like, it, everything feels and real. And it feels, like, too real sometimes. Yeah. Where it's all, like, you wake up and you still believe that dream actually happened. Like, it turns into a memory, but it never mm-hmm. actually happened. Yeah. It just felt so, like, you felt so connected to the dream. So I heard, like, things like that, too, where they're, like, there's no time. Mm-hmm. And, like, in your dreams, there's, like, no times. Um, yeah, hell no. I will never ask that question. <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't ask, like, specific questions, like, the time and date. Because, like, so when, like a lot of people ex- uh, explain the um, their characters mm-hmm. as in, like, their eyes get really big and black and they get very mad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that was only one. The second time was literally last night. Mm-hmm. <gasps> I remember I was, I don't know, I was playing with a baby. And then, like, out of nowhere, I gained conscious. And, like... I started looking at the baby, but, like, her face started looking different. Mm -hmm. But I tried not to, like, try, you know, not to be, like, obviously, obvious. (laughs) (laughs) Right. No, like, continue to play with her, even though, like, her face, like, would, like, low-key change. And I was, like, out of nowhere. We were in the car, like, in the trunk. And then we were outside my house. And I was getting off, and when I turned, and like the baby wasn't there anymore. And and then after that, we were in the house, in my house, and like my mom was there, my brother was there, like other family members were there, like Freddie was there. Mm-hmm. And I was like gonna tell my brother, like, cause I don't know, I felt like, you know, maybe it was him. <laughs> and so like, I like what? pulled him off to the side, Mm-hmm. And I was gonna tell him like, dude, like I this is a dream. Like I was gonna tell him that, but I noticed like it wasn't it when um he kind of seemed confused, like if that wasn't supposed to happen, you know, like me pulling him up to the side. Yeah, like he looked kind of confused, like what, like what happened, and um. And another thing is that something like a shadow popped out behind him. It kind of went like he was right here and like, he like popped out and, sh- and went, it was going like this. Like telling me to like, shh, like, you know, like when I was going to say that it. That is scary. <laughs> dude, it is. Dude, it was. But like, I don't know, like the thing behind it, like it looked scary, but it didn't like frighten me. It's uh-huh. kind of just like I took it as in, okay, like I should shut up. Yeah. <laughs> like I shouldn't tell him. And... I just took like a quick pause and go like my brother his name is Gordo and he kind of was looking at me like he was like what are you gonna tell me <laughs> kind of just like that like because like I got quiet and I was thinking of something else to tell him yeah and so like I told him something else and he, he kind of seemed confused like what the heck right. but it kind of seemed like he knew like I was gonna tell him something else it, it, I just had like that vibe from him like I like walked away and out of nowhere, I just felt like a really sharp pain, like right here near near my ribs. Like I've a very, felt that before. Yeah, it kind of feels like when you're dancing or when you're running a lot, like you feel like a sharp pain, like through your like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ribs. Like you feel yeah. it inside. Like yeah. when I've had it, it's inside me. Like yeah, I feel it like yeah. it's inside. Like yeah. and it like hurt. Like dude, like if like I could feel the pain. Like, it hella hurt, and, like, I was, like, feeling my ribs, and for some reason, like, it kind of felt like one, like, one part was, like, missing. Or, like, it uh-huh. felt like it was, like, lodged into me or uh-huh. something. Uh-huh. And, like, I remember, like, dude, I really couldn't handle it. That I know, like, my mom, like, in my dream really wasn't my mom, but, like, I was crying for her. Like, I was, like, dude, like, ma, like, it hurts. Like, it, like, really hurts. Uh-huh. And, like, someone from the couch kind of seemed confused. And, like, the way they said it was, like, is someone whining? But like as if as if like no one in there whines. Like if they didn't know uh, what whining was. Uh-huh. And I, they were kind of just like, is someone whining? And I was kind of, I kind of just stood quiet. And I'm just like, yeah, because it didn't seem like they like whined or anything. I remember just like feeling that pain. 
and that's what like woke me up because like even when i woke up i low-key thought that i was still feeling uh-huh. it no like, it felt really like it hurt i've i've had that too yeah. literally like but for me i was being like not stabbed but someone was like punching me mm-hmm. and like they had their feet like their fist like in me basically because of how like they were just there and i was like dude and in my head i was like okay like i need to wake up yeah like i need to wake up and i feel like maybe because like now that you say stuff like that like because i got it like a while ago and i didn't really think about like lucid dreaming or anything Mm -hmm. like that right so i knew i was dreaming like i know like where i was i know the place like it looked kind of like a casino it's like that kind of vibe or like hotel vibes so i know i was there like 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 girl girl chill Chill. But then this guy came up to me and I was like, no, I could like beat you up or something or whatever. But I knew what things were doing because I was making things like move like with my mind basically no way. in my dream. <laughs> yeah, like that's what I was doing in my dream. So I think like that kind of was all like, dude, like you're not supposed to be here. Like get out of here, you know? Yeah. So it's, that guy just came out of nowhere and I was like, do this or whatever. Like, I don't know what I thought. But no, he had it there. And the whole time I was thinking, I got to wake up. Like. I have mm-hmm. to get up now and the whole time I was basically like, complaining and just like like what like why am I not waking up like those mm-hmm. were my thoughts in my dream because I knew that I was like dreaming yeah and so like the fact that like you said that too and like now that you know like damn that could have like been what I was doing mm-hmm. those were my dreams or like that's what I had but yeah. I didn't know yeah Dude. so it's like <laughs> so is that a common thing in the dream realm like do yeah. people get some kind of like have or like have y'all ever gotten like some kind of sharp pain inside of you like yeah because maybe it's like it a inside. pain that like for to trying to wake you up you know yeah like it probably means something because if we're saying it like it happened when we realized we were dreaming like is that some kind of punishment that the people in the dream realm do mm-hmm. or maybe it's like something else like we're just like a feeling Cause like, oh yeah, yeah or like your you, yeah, cause your body tells you stuff yeah and stuff. So like maybe that's a sign for something that's coming into your life or something. Yeah, or maybe yeah, or maybe it's like cause you know like the pain is kind of just like it like hurts so bad it kind of just like it's something that would wake you up like mm-hmm. it'll hurt enough to wake you up. Yeah, so they know what they're doing. Yeah, when they're it's just like if you can like get yourself out, kind of like your body like giving you like a certain pain. Mm-hmm. So that pain, like, it's so strong that you wake up, you know? So <laughs> weird how connected it can be. Mm-hmm. And how, like, common it can be, too. Because, yeah, I know. You know what I'm thinking about? Because I think you said it, too. When I woke up, I still felt, like, mm-hmm. I felt, like, it going away. I felt mm-hmm. it going away. And I was like, like, what? That's exactly how I felt, too. Mm-hmm. I woke, yeah, it's like, I literally, like... <laughs> What the heck? And me just laying down, like, waking up, like... No, yeah, dude, it's, like, so weird. It, but that's what I want to do. That. Like, I haven't tried to control, like, my dreams mm-hmm. and what happens around me. Because, mm-hmm. like, today also, like, I saw, like, a TikTok. Dude, I see a lot of things. Also. <laughs> <laughs> like, it literally, like... It, it has a lot of information. Yeah. Though. She was saying, like... she Look, because this is what she said about, like asking people for the time and date she was all like that you can ask but try to think positively you know because also your dreams are yes. based on your like subconscious yeah uh-huh go on so she was like she was like you can probably ask like you can ask but don't think that they're gonna get mad or they they will get mad uh-huh. you know like try to think like you know like well, try and not really like to think, snow. you know? Mm-hmm. So, because she says, like, you can even, like, ask, like, tell them to, like, take you places or, like, somewhere, like, you want to see. Like, you can ask them. You know what that reminded me of? What's that? Um, that you're saying about, like, thinking. I'm not going to do anything. Because I think around the time where I was also seeing, like, videos where people were saying... Like, oh, how you never see your phone in your dream. I have seen my phone in my dream a couple times. Mm -hmm. And the time, too, there has been, like, one time where I actually saw the time and the date. 
If it was in a like a regular like old clock or like mm-hmm. the ones with the the big circle clock, mm-hmm. or if it was like a oh that's a motorcycle. <laughs> Saying how she did like as like one from her um, dream. dream. Like what day and time it was, mm-hmm. and she said that the person from her dream just told her to look at her phone, mm-hmm. yeah. and that she felt that that she thought she didn't have her phone, but she like touched behind her like um, on her pocket. Yeah, in her pocket, and like she did have her phone with her, and it's just like so. Maybe it's just like really about like your mind, like how mm-hmm. you think um, the reactions are gonna be. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's that reminds me of my first topic. Or like what I was first saying. I feel like I've done that too with someone. Like I was in line for something. Mm -hmm. And I asked them too. I was like, hey, what time is it? But I don't think they told me anything. Because there's, you know how like people say, or like some people, once they eat like chocolate, they get nightmares. Or sugar in general. Really? I also heard like cheese or something. So, um... I would I would eat chocolate and then I would notice I had like nightmares, right? Mm-hmm. This like happened a few times. So I'm like, oh, like maybe then it is true. I don't know. Like, is there someone here? Is there a spirit in here and it's focusing on them? No, Loki's scared because we're right next to like the crematory or whatever it's called where they burn people. And then like the cemetery is like right down over there and it's nighttime, so like. This is your time to come out, or what? Isn't that three? Three in the morning? I don't know, because I believe in, like, spirits, but I've never actually encountered one. Me neither. Dude, you can't take me. (laughs) Well, I don't know. (laughs) Tell us the fact that if you were... To like possess me, like this sucks for you. <laughs> like you wanna, you for real wanna be on this earth? Hell no. <laughs> I wanna dip out of here. <laughs> Maybe they don't eat them. What? Like the spirits just stay here. Maybe they don't wanna be here. Either, but spirits always trying to like possess your body. But it's kind of just like, you sure you want this? <laughs> Cause I've been thinking I'm like, if spirits are true, how they here? Wait, what? No, because I'm just like, it's always just a confusing question. <laughs> Those were our conversations. So no. we be talking about, we be thinking about, and sorry about this whole non-focusing camera thing. I don't know why it's doing that. It's been happening in other videos. I don't know how to fix it. I gotta learn. If you know why, can you please comment down below because... We're breaking our back over here, <laughs> trying to get focus. Maybe I I put like defocus on the thing. I don't know. I have to look again. But sorry, but thank you. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, yes. go comment like a blue heart or something. Uh, Press that me. follow button. Yes. Press that subscribe button. <laughs> that like button. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> it's uh, all our socials is gonna be linked down below in the description. And this yeah. is where the video ends. It's at night, like it is now. Good night, and if it's morning, good morning, and good afternoon if you're <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye. I rate this a good nine, dude. It's, it's a good. nine? Nine out of ten? Yeah. It was a seven. Like, it's, it's good, seven. but I don't know if it's the... You know what? There's no guac. That's why. No, yeah, this is a chicken. No. <laughs> 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 Why does it look like that? Like they're all spread out. When I do this, I feel like my finger looks like a dinosaur. Oh, uh-uh. <laughs> like, like those long necks. Yeah. <laughs> like, <ooh. laughs> Oh no, but that's too close. Nothing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's still inside. in here. <laughs> Go back to your channel. <laughs> Hey, hi, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe or so. <Okay. clears throat>
Hashem. Focus on me. Focus on me. <laughs> Every minute, man, I swear that she can